Welcome YouTube to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host Red. I got another compilation video today of women hitting the wall. Just a bit of copium, a bit of shaming here and there. Um, again, just I'm not trying to shit on women. It's just a little bit of these videos just to help men see what's going on. So uh, please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, it's Chow Time, boys. I love when shitty men show up in my comments to validate the point I just made. It's like they're giving my handle a whole new layer, you know? Oh, I may end up 35 and single? So what? You think that's a threat? That being single is inherently negative? That a woman's life only has value if she reproduces? I'd rather die alone 10 times over than end up with a man who has those values. Needless to say, there are plenty of people who get married after 35. There are plenty of people who have been married and end up single at 35. There are plenty of people who are married and miserable at 35. Because just like gender or sexuality, your marital status should not be an indicator of your quality of life or your overall worth as a human being. How is marriage status not an indicator of those things? Most people that are, more, are married and happily married are much happier and better well off than most people. So I think it's a goal that most people strive for. And this is the bullshit that women no longer have to accept. We no longer have to be someone's daughter or someone's wife or someone's mother to make our way in the world and to make. You don't have to be, but you are. Am I wrong? <laughs> and that really pisses these men off. Not to mention that single and childless women are statistically the happiest demographic in our society. I talk about this. They always bring up the statistics, but Morgan Stanley says difference. <laughs> And they are a trillion dollar company that manages trillions of dollars. So I think their research is a little bit better than just some woman's intuition. So the next time a man with 15 followers and no profile pic wants to threaten me with that, bring it, bitch. See, shaming. I mean, the man probably shamed her a little bit in a sense too, or trying to use it as a shaming tactic for her, but she's also shaming him for admitting what most people realize nowadays. So, hmm. I don't think I can make it on the outside, Andy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Shawshank, guys. I've been in here most of my life. I don't think. This is why we talk about past. The past matters. If they were single for the last four years, are they really going to be able to just be in a relationship and handle the things that most men would want a woman to be in a relationship? Most likely not. Or is it guaranteed? No, but the likelihood of her being ready to go is very unlikely because she's been single for 40 years or for four years. Same thing with a, a person that just slept around for the last 10 years. The likelihood of them being able to be satisfied by one person after they slept around for 10 years is just so unlikely for men or women. It's just you live this lifestyle, you, this of abundance. Now you're going to have to try to strain yourself with only one person. It just makes things hard. Damn, don't nobody want me? Nope. Nobody. Me, I want you. <laughs> yeah, the young I, guys. I want you. And the married men. No, options are limited. So you telling me nobody really want me? Yeah, this is the realization a lot of women come to when they get to this age. It's not that men aren't looking at them anymore. There's still plenty of men looking at them. Plenty of men in their DMs. It's just not the caliber of men that they used to get. They used to literally have access to all men now they only have access to some of the younger men that want to hit young you know want to smash older women and the married men that you know are just doing whatever they want to do kind of thing so but the the single men that are in their prime hitting their stride they have options they have options to deal with the 25 year olds the deal with the 22 year olds there's no need for them to have to deal with the women at their age anymore and again most women at their age when they were younger did not give them the time of day that now that they're older and they're both at the same age when one's at their prime and one's declining now the person that's declining wants to you know be with the person that's in their prime yeah 
I'm here for the buffet. Yep. <laughs> Hello. My name is Lori. I'm the manager here. I could not help but this notice skit is a really you good look skit. quite upset. It's just a bunch of wieners. <laughs> oh, honey, I really don't want to hurt your feelings, but you are 42 years old yep. and a little overweight. A little and bit. You got those three kids. Ooh, she has three kids too. Yeah, but uh, really, I I can't get anything more than just this. <laughs> Sorry, this is all that's being offered to you. This, this is just really disappointing. You know, we don't normally do this. Oh, she got something. You are rocking that mom bod. You oh, such keep. a hot mom bod. Don't tell anybody else because we normally don't pull this out for everybody. Here you go. <laughs> Let me pause it. Uh, occasional date nights. I miss you. Texts whenever when we've been ignoring you. Your texts at the scene that you are getting upset. Ah, fucking horrible reader. <laughs> so, so those are my only options. There's, there's nothing else. What about like love and a relationship? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, wait, you were serious? Yes, I was serious. I have a lot to offer. Is there no one? Actually, you know what? There is someone who wants to give you all that. Sweet guy. He's 64. He lives in Kentucky. He's partially deaf, so that's going to be perfect with the kids. <laughs> um, everybody else, you're just not going to be attracted to. Sorry. There she goes. Love this uh, skit. Yeah. Everyone else, you're not attracted to. It's not that there's no men out there at all. You're just not attracted to them. You don't qualify for the same caliber that you used to when you were younger. Just like men did not qualify for the caliber of women when we were young that they, we are now in our 30s. It's just different. You know, I kind of see why people have stopped coming here because these options are terrible. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to leave. I'm just, uh, uh, just, uh, this I'm this get really does a good job of showing women what's going to happen to them. It, it's men. It's not like men want to shit on women and telling them that they're going to hit the wall all the time. It's not that men are saying it to shit on them. Men are actually, a lot of men are usually saying it says, we don't want this to happen to you. Cause when this happens, most women become very upset and they usually double down and just get even more. Oh, men are trash. It, we don't want that. We want women to find love. We want our guys to find love because that's what most of us want. Right. Last time I was single, I was 24, and the dating pool was everybody. And She just said it. The dating pool was everybody, man and woman. Now it's like this sad, shallow puddle of age-appropriate <laughs> men who are old and gross, and I don't want to do that. Does she know I she's don't. at the same age as them? I'm 40, by the way, so I guess it goes both ways. Oh, she realizes that it goes both ways. That's good. <laughs> Do you have sex? Yes. How many sexual partners have you had? This is also a big issue for a lot of men that are in their prime trying to, I'm counting. you know, date older women. She can't even um, contemplate quickly. Do you have sex? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're, not, we're talking about your, your your whole past, not just this year. But if this year's number is double digits plus, I mean, just gives us an idea of the rest of those years. Okay, I just wrapped up my 40s, and here is something to keep an eye out for, all right? You're probably going to hit a fork in the road mm -hmm. where you can either start to see yourself as diminished 
and less than and too old for this or that. Or you can actively choose not to see yourself as diminished. Oh, so Whichever ignore everything. Perception you have of yourself, that is what will be true. So I recommend choosing the latter. Oh, man. Like, as, as confident as you are or self-confident as you are or you say whatever you are, it doesn't translate to sexual market value. Remember, you're not choosing your mate. Your mate chooses you. So if you don't meet certain criteria for them, and like what makes you think that you can just fruition things for yourself like that? Because men know, oh shit, we're too old to be doing this shit now. Well, men in their 30s aren't fucking, you know, dreaming to be in the NBA. We're too old for that now. It's just how it is. Oop, let me pause it. I wish I was getting married soon and not because I want a husband or marriage or even the wedding itself. But I want a reason for all the people I love and adore to be in the same room together at once. That sounds like some bullshit. Because that sounds like the wedding. So she cares about the wedding itself. So what's the point of men trying to date women like this? If men want marriage, want commitment. These women just want a single day to be adored. So I got divorced in my early 40s, started dating again, and wow, did I have some interesting dating experiences. Here are a few. One guy forgot he had a girlfriend for five years. Yeah, a five-year girlfriend. I wasn't with him for five years. City boy. Another guy told me we would have good heat and said we'd look good together if we wanted to have kids, and that was his reason for going out with me. Um, another guy brought What do you do? So I got divorced in my early 40s, started dating again. Yeah, it's rough for these ladies out there. How was that chow, guys? I hope you guys liked it. I mean, you know, everybody likes these wall videos. I mean, it is what it is, right? It's somewhat enjoyable here and there. But please put a like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, oh, uh, shout outs to everyone that's been subscribing for the last couple days. I've been growing so fast. Uh, I don't know what to say. I really do appreciate everything, everyone. Uh, all right, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. It's chow time.